this is where he broke his axle, and you only go down it. All right, guys, here's the thing. If you might remember, ah, gotta fix that door handle. I bought the $1,500 Bronco and I took it lightly off road. Well, here's the thing. Today, we are going to be taking it across the country and doing a little bit of lightly, light off-roading again. Before we do that, she needs some minor upgrades. That way she does a little bit better than she did last time, but she did good. Where she's going, she's gonna need to do a lot better than she did last time. All right, let's go modify. All right, guys, here's what we're gonna do. First off, we got a six inch lift we're gonna put on it. We got a welder over there. We're gonna weld the rear diff. That way it's pretty much like a fire locker. And we're also gonna put beadlock wheels and 35 inch tires on it and a winch. The other thing is we already got a little bit excited on the Bronco and got to taking some of the old parts off. And it's not like we had to beat on all these parts for like two days to get everything off. Oh! Yeah. No, nothing like that happened. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Don't, no idea what you're talking about. But all the old parts are off, so now we can start putting on the new parts to the lift. It's a lot of banging, wasn't it? <laughs> oh my god. It's a lot of banging. Oh my god. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure I like what I've built. <laughs> so, here's the thing. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to lift the Bronco and uh, go off-roading with it, but we're like, you know, we know the boys in South Carolina really like to lift the front of these things and not the back, so we figured while we're at it, we might as well test it out and see how it works. I think I'll do a burnout. Here, let me, let me get in there. Let me see if it goes burnout. Dude, why would anybody willingly do this to their vehicle? You know what? We've lifted it 50% of the way. It's got a six inch lift on the front and it's stock in the back. That means it should be able to do 50% better than stock off-roading, if all the math works out correctly. But there's really only one way to find out. I sure hope nobody sees me on the way to the farm. You heard? Did you see it when it hit that second bump? I don't know, but it felt like the ass end came off the ground. Went ja -jong, ja -jong. No, it made it cross the creek. You know what that means. Let's see if it makes it to the buckle. Speaking of Ford Broncos, we have been building some crazy Ford Broncos lately, and we actually built one for eBay Motors Monathon that kicks off on November 2nd. But I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a teaser right now. Roll the clip. I have six days to turn this stock Bronco back here into an absolute ripper. Are we gonna get it done? We're gonna try. Woo, baby! The ultimate challenge was thrown out to conquer the world's wildest terrain with all the help we could get off eBay Motors. You think there's any Bigfoots up here? <laughs> this is the Monathon. <laughs> and no, uh, spoiler alert, there was no Bigfoots up there. A very weird noise up front. Not exactly sure what that's from, but we're just gonna ignore it and it'll probably get better. I guess the only thing we got left is the jump. Did you get in there at all? I don't think so. Hold on. But I just don't think the tooted Bronco wants to fly. You know what that means? 
We need to go back and finish this list. What's your bro laughing at? Well, that's <laughs> up. <laughs> We're gonna fix that. Dude, look at this one. This one is bad. Well. Guys, good news. We just bent our six inch lift kit. That's just shocking. Ain't no way. Okay. Well, let's continue lifting it. Here's what we're gonna do now. We've got the old springs and everything underneath it, keeping it stock right eye. We're gonna pull them bad boys out and replace them for these. Our brand new Rough Country six inch lift springs. And uh, also while we're at it, we're gonna have Logan fire up the welder and weld the, and weld the rear diff. Oh, shit. oh. Sorry, there's literally a water bottle right there, you <laughs> oh, Grab a fire pit. Bad. Bad fire. Okay, now weld it. <laughs> hey, here's the good news. At least we didn't burn down the Bronco when we were trying to weld the diff, right? So that's welded. The rear diff is officially locked. So uh, you guys want to put the springs on, finish the lift kit, and I'm going to go order some wheels. There you go. Oh, God, no. There you go. Lay it, lay it. No, no, there you go. There you go. Now put that on there. I'll be right back. I gotta go get wheels. So, need some 35 inch tires. I want some 17 inch wheels. We need bead locks in case we bounce the Bronco up over a big old rock. We don't de beat it. And lucky for us, eBay Motors sponsored today's episode. So, we're gonna get some wheels and tires off eBay Motors. 18's too big. 20's, no. There we go, 17 by nine, exactly what we want. Fill it, roadkill machine, bead lock wheels, five by five and a half. And I think those will work. Boom. Are they done? Ordered, we're good. All right, I will see you guys in four days when we have tires and wheels. Dude, she looks good. All right guys, here's the thing. The tires and wheels got here yesterday, we threw them bad boys on and we drove straight to this off-road park. Now I'll be honest, I drove this Bronco approximately 80 feet from the garage onto the trailer, strapped it down and then drove it right here to this trailhead. I have not driven it any further than that. So I have found the roughest trail in this entire place. And I figured if we can make it up that, then we're good. We've conquered the whole place. Should have probably test drove it, I'll be honest. But it's fine, it'll be all right. You're probably gonna make it and if you don't, we're definitely gonna break it. You know, I'm not sure what it is, but there is something making a very bad noise in this front diff up here. Oh dude. This, this gets gnarly. Go left. Go left? Left looks scary, Parker. Are you sure? Oh, shit. Son of a So it goes straight down for like 75, 100 feet. And then it goes straight back up for like, that's at least a hundred miles. I'm not sure I keep from like sliding down this thing. <laughs> You're going wrong. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> right Come on, Bronco. Yeah, get us a leap right over him. Like a big powerful machine you are. Oh, holy sh. You almost got it. Come on, Bronco. Oh, sh it's getting sideways on. Oh, dude, the way it's like off camber. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> I made it! I hit my head on the roof four times. <laughs> It, you right? In two seconds. In two seconds. <laughs> it made it up that though. If it made it up that, it's pretty much unstoppable. Let's keep going. This is where you can feel the suspension really working. The suspension's doing its job, so absorbing 99% of the bumps. As you can tell, it's riding like a cloud in here. Like you can barely tell where you're moving. Wow. Oh, oh. I just got a concussion. <laughs> I don't know what your problem is, but this thing rides like a Cadillac. I don't know why you're having so many issues. Dude, look at this. I just keep seeing parts. <laughs> put, 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 put my Bronco back. Hold on. Oh, big rut. Oh, bigger rut. Something's dragging the ground. I'm not sure what it is. As you can see, we're climbing the rocks quite good. The Nitto tires are really grappling the rocks like they're supposed to. 
that's why they're called grapplers, you know? They just grab onto them. Like an ex-wife that won't let go of your money. Oh, shit! <laughs> All right, uh, Garrett, this is kind of a rough ride. I'm kind of tired of it, so. Just, uh, I'll see you at the top. Go! He's gonna hit the gas with the trim tree. such a good off-roader, it could do it without me. It really proves how much skill is needed to do off-roading. You know what's the worst part of this? Is that now Weston's gotta walk up the hill. Hey, can you come back and get us? This is Steve. How much you wanna bet the closer we get, the more he's gonna take off. What the f did I tell you? He's trying, but he's stuck now. Dude, I knew for a fact, as soon as I start getting closer, he's gonna try to keep driving to make me walk. Yeah, I know, that's why I was sucked, it got stuck. It's so, it's so steep. Broncos are awesome, dude. It's done the toughest trails at this entire park. So you know what that means? We gotta find tougher stuff for it to do. Well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go to westonwikescake.com and get your redneck science merchandise and hats. We got everything on there ready for you guys to buy. And uh, your Bronco might run this good if you buy one too.